Alright, welcome back to tutorial number three of our racing game. Uh, by now we should have our car that's able to drive around the track. It's going to be hitting against the green and slowing down. And uh, the car is basically moving the way that it should be for any racing game. Uh, for the next two tutorials we're going to look into putting in the start line, uh, this thing called a checkpoint. And those are both going to help us to code in tutorial number four. This lap timer you see in the upper part of the screen and the best lap time in the, the other corner of the upper part of the screen. All right, so we're going to pick up exactly where we left off last tutorial, which is right here, and we are ready to get moving. So we're going to put in our uh, starting line, our checkpoint's going to be over here, and then we're going to end our tutorial there and uh, finish up the coding in tutorial number four. So we're going to add in a new sprite, we'll go into paint, and we'll paint our checkered box here for our starting line. And be just a little bit smaller, make it look like a checkered uh, starting line, right? We want it to look something like this. So I'm going to take away my outline, which is already gone. I'm going to make this thing black. It's actually not quite a square, so we need to shrink it down a little bit here. All right, so now we're going to Control C, Control V, copy paste. This one right here is going to be white. All right, now I'm going to take this thing here. I'm going to group them together. I'm going to copy paste these a few times just so I don't have to recreate them. And I'm going to flip this thing horizontally. That's going to give me this pattern here. If you notice now I didn't come out even, that's fine. I'm just going to do Control A. I can actually move these things up a bit, but I can also, if I want to shrink them in or stretch them out a little bit, depending on how I'm going, I can do that, and um, that'll make it fit my track a little bit better. Uh, if you wanted to move it sideways, we could do that too if you had it at a different point. But uh, I think it's, a, it's really easy to start off on a straightaway and just uh, have it going here like this. All right, so we're going to call this thing Starting Line. starting line is there and we're going to put a thing in called a checkpoint which is up here now a checkpoint is going to be a sprite that you can't see uh, I want to make it so no matter what the car is going to hit it when it goes past here just looking ahead and we'll explain all this in detail in the next tutorial but if we have a lap timer we want it to start when I hit this line uh, then I want it to stop when I hit this line again it's kind of difficult to code that if I mean, we could do a wait an amount of seconds but then you um, come across people being able to cheat on your game so I find the best way to do it is to have a code that knows start when you hit the starting line wait until someone hits the checkpoint right which you can only the only way to trigger that next thing is to be all the way over here uh, then stop when you reach um, this one back over here right that's how you you denote how far we've gone or or how much time it's taken for you to do a lap so I find for coding issues it makes sense to make a checkpoint over here so I'm going to show you how we make that now by adding in another sprite. Alright, so we're going to put this thing on the road here. As I said before, it's going to be uh, camouflaged, so we're going to make it the same color. So let's just shrink this thing down. We'll get it to be the same size as the road. Just a little bit smaller here. And also, actually, to make this a little bit uh, more hidden. I think I'm going to want to rotate it a bit. Alright, that looks good. Alright, so I have matched the shape, but now the color has to be correct. So um, what I need to do is go back into my backdrop. I need to find what is the color code for green and the color code for this gray. Alright, so my grass color code, my green, is going to be 31, 60, 100. Alright, and if I click on my asphalt color that's going to be 0, 0, 0058 so when I go back into here 
my gray I said was 0, 0, 5, 8. So it was 0, 0, 5, 8. Okay, and you see that goes away because it's going to blend in. Uh, then I'm going to put one above it and one below it. Now, as I mentioned before, the car is going to go around and I want it to touch this sprite and then keep on going. The reason I'm putting these on here is because if for some reason, um, as my car is going around, if I accidentally take this turn too hard and I go way in the grass, I still want to hit the sprite and get back on the track here. All right, if I'm being goofy and I'm like all the way in here or something and I miss it and that's kind of on me right this is almost actually better I won't be able to cheat and just cut the lap in half so I want that checkpoint to be way out but if I go off the road a little bit I still want it to count the lap time all right if it doesn't make sense quite what I'm, I'm doing right now uh, bear with me it'll make a lot more sense when we go to cut uh, go to code our lap timer and um, our best lap um, our best lap variable so now we need to take this thing and we need to make it green like we uh, said before with our green code and our green code was 31 60 100. All right, it's pretty likely that yours will be different but for mine again uh, 31 60 100. All right, awesome. All right, so now you see my checkpoint has gone away. I haven't quite renamed it yet. I'll do that right now. All right, but I have a starting line. I have a checkpoint. The last thing I'm gonna do on this tutorial, if you notice that my car is going underneath the, uh, is going underneath the starting line, it's probably gonna do the same thing with the checkpoint too. Uh, it's a very easy fix. If you go to your car and in your code, you only need to do this once. You don't need to, you need to leave it in your code if you don't want to. But under looks, you can just go into go to front layer. And then when I click it, it's going to bring my car to that front layer. All right. Now I'm driving over the starting line and driving over the checkpoint as well. All right. Like I said, you only need to do it once. So to clean everything up, if you want to even delete it, it's gone. But our car is in the front layer and you don't need to worry about it for now. All right, we're going to end this tutorial here, let you put those pieces in. And um, then we'll come back and code in our timing variables.